Hello, in this video, I'm going to respond to a comment by Hyunbin. So, hello, Hyunbin. And Hyunbin has asked about uh, two questions. The first one is uh, how to use Add Event in Eclipse. And he has um, uh, error cannot read property Add Event Listener of Undefined. So, let's solve his problem one by one. So, firstly, uh, instead of using Eclipse, I suggest using the VS Code. So first of all, we can go to search VS Code and go to the official website and download the version suitable for our computer. And how to use VS Code? So first of all, we need to create a project directory. Uh, it means a folder. So click into it. And then we can uh, right click and choose open with code. So after installation, there should be an option, open with code. So after clicking it, we can see that. So uh, we have an uh, environment created. So once we open it, this is a file panel and we can right click here. So choose new file and we can say, uh, for example, example.xml. So this is a blank page now. So we can use uh, exclamation mark and then the tab button. So this will uh, use the XML template and now let's switch on the live server so live server is right click open with live server but uh, this one doesn't come with the installation automatically this one is an extension so extension is here uh, the fifth one choose with the uh, open with live server so here uh, after open so this is my example.html running at the local host and this will hot refresh. So, for example, if I create a button with the text of click me, then when I save it, I can see the uh, button click me. And now let's create a uh, square. So, for the uh, effect of the clicking. So, let's say I have a class with the, we, I have a division with the class of Square, and then I will start it, start it with the class name square so dot square and with uh, with 100 px ice 100 px uh, background color let's say green and I want to change it from green to red when I click the button so now when I um, do this when I say I inside head I have a squid tab uh, and then I can say um, uh, let the button or if if there are three types of error. So the first one if let, let me switch on the console. So the first one if if I don't declare the variable, I just use it button element dot add event listener. I will have a uh, reference error. So if I just say it, it will have reference error button element is not defined so I need to declare the variable first so here I need to use the var keyword or the let keyword so button element so if I declare it but I don't initialize it I will see cannot read property at event listener of undefined so the undefined refers to this uh, variable and this variable why is it undefined because we have not defined it we just declared it so now I need to use the uh, get element function so for example document dot get element by id so the most common one is get element by id so i should add an id to my button so but D, let's say my button so i put the id here my button so now it will become the second uh, which is even more uh, common javascript error so let's see now the error message becomes uncaused type error cannot read property at event listener of no. So this is very common error. And here I want to explain why this happens. So because the JavaScript, when it runs this, when it runs up, parse this, pass this file, it will pass from the top to the end. So when it passes a head, it will, so when it passes the head, it will see the style this line and then it will see the script so here in the script it will see document.add get by id but now 
the element is not created yet, it is created in body. So this one finds nothing. And when the get element by ID finds nothing, it doesn't raise an error, but instead it's stored now inside the variable. So the variable is now, and when we call add event is not, it will have this our message. So this is now, so it doesn't have the add event is property. So it means this. And so we need to ensure that this one exists first. After the button is clicked, we can uh, get the event listener successfully. So instead of the first way of solving this problem, and the most intuitive way is we move this script head. So we move this script from head to body. So we move it here. So it doesn't run in head, but it runs in body. So if we save it, now we can see that we have successfully get an element. And the element, it has an add event listener function. So it says that the add event listener function should have two arguments. So let's put the first argument. So it should be listening to the clicking event. And the second one is the callback function. So callback function, and uh, let it be anonymous because this is a simple demonstration. And let's get the element. Let's get the uh, square. So query selector and use the dot square to query the element. So after getting, I want to change it down, change it down, and I want to change the background color, background. So now I have to use camel case here, background color, and put a string red here. So now we have uh, get the element successfully, and we have add the event listener, the click event listener on this button element successfully. So if we click on this button, we have changed the square to red. So this is the uh, first way of solving get property cannot read property at the definition of now. So the first way is to ensure that uh, the button element is created. So there are two more ways. So the second way is uh, I want to demonstrate um, more about the sequence of JavaScript running. So first of all, I will create a script head in the head, and I will use the console log and log that. Um, this is locked in head. So this is locked in head. And then this is the body. So I will create a JavaScript and lock here. So this is locked in body. So we know this already, isn't it? And now let's create a first script tab, which is to import a file. So I will use script SLC. So now this will import a JavaScript from a file. So let's say the file is example.js and if we save it, we have an error. So it cannot find example.js. So we need to create this JavaScript file, example.js. And after creating, we can put a script here. So I want to console log here. So this is uh, logged in uh, example.js. So this is this one comes first before the head because this is because the sequence here because I have the import before this script so this is come with the sequence here so example.js the log comes first and now I want to demonstrate how to uh, <coughs> make this script inside this uh, this style sheet this uh, JavaScript file but after the element is loaded so I need to add a window dot element Add event listener, uh, listening to the load event of window, and then the anonymous function. So I will put here log. This is logged it in uh, load event callback. Window load event callback. So uh, the window load event callback, this line will run after the window load event. So even after the script in the body. So even after the script in the body. So the second way is we can put this script. We can cut this and put this and put this inside the load event is not callback. So if we save it, we can see that there is no error and we can click on it and change it successfully. So if we want to put this uh, get elements uh, function, we can put it inside load event listener of the window. So this is the second way. 
of uh, doing it. And there is a third way of doing it, which is even more simple. So before the second, before the third way, I will put this uh, outside the low event. So when I put it outside the low event, so we can see that when the indentation goes wrong, we can right click and choose format. And it will fix the indentation for us. So it will push it back to the front. And now this will have an error because this one is outside the low event. So it will run in head before the button exists. So this one will cause the error again. The error is cannot read property at event is of now. So now I want the whole uh, JavaScript uh, file to load after the page load. So I need to add just one word, which is the defer. D-E-F-E-R. So defer need to be added as the attribute to the script tab of uh, importing the Duffers file. So when I add defer keyword here and I run it, there is no problem because defer will make the JavaScript load after the body. So after the body, the head, now this one, now the parser runs like this. So when it runs from here and here, when it reach this line, you see that this we need to import this uh, JavaScript file. But this is deferred, so I remembered it, but I don't do it now. And then it will run this line, so the lot in head. And then it will run this line, so the body. And then we have the button and everything. So now it will go back to uh, import the JavaScript file. So it will start to run this. So it will log, example, JS, log in XMLJS. And then it will get element and add event line and so on. And then the uh, load event callback. So this is the sequence after we have the Deferred keyword. So this is another way of uh, adding the the uh, of um, solving the get event listener of now. So we can ensure that the JavaScript one after the element exists. So I hope I have explained clearly. But if not, feel free to ask in the comment section, and I will uh, come to solve the problem uh, when I notice the question. So thank you again. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.